Hey guys, it's Ghost here, and today we are back in the good old War Thunder. So, yeah, um, we're just gonna have some fun in some ground arcade battles, and yeah. Um, as you can see, I've made some extreme, well, I should say good progress, because, <laughs> well, first of all, the new, well, there's two new tanks in the lineup that I don't think you guys have seen. First of all, is the Leopard A1A1, uh, L44. Um, I've had this tank for a while now. It's a premium one, so you had to buy it. Um, but I just never used it because the rest of my tanks were just, you know, level, you know, Battle Redding level 1 or level 2, so they would just get wiped out immediately. Um, yeah. So, now that we are, uh, getting into, we're getting into, uh, you know, further up the ladder, into uh, better vehicles and modern vehicles, um, I'm now using the Leopard A1A1. So, yeah. Um, once I get enough money, money, there we go, um, I'm gonna put the Yagtai, or uh, Yagpanza, or Yagpanta, it's Yagpanza v Yagpanta, which is a tank destroyer, so basically, oh, I'll find it to you after the battle, <laughs> Alright, let's see, we're in Tunisia. Alright, so, I'm pretty sure most of the enemy tanks are gonna try to take, uh, Charlie. But also, Bravo and Alpha are gonna be main points, too. Since they're the other two points. <laughs> um, I think Bravo's gonna be the busiest of the two, and then Alpha's maybe gonna be a bit quiet. Quiet by me and a whole bunch of tanks there, but not as much as Charlie and Bravo. So they're gonna be coming from here, and usually they're gonna have fast and heavy tanks. So. But it should be nothing that the Leopard can't take on. Yeah. So if the matchmaking does go right, then I should be able to take out anything that stands in front of my barrel. Because it's 150 millimeters, and the penetration on it is amazing. But, the bad thing is, since this is thing is so fast, you might realize that the armor on this thing is not good. <laughs> thing, same thing as the tank destroyers. Not as bad as the tank destroyers, can't be killed by artillery. Unless we're a direct hit. Um, it can survive a few hits, actually. But, a hit to the front, or a hit to a vital part, is gonna go straight through, and nothing's gonna be able to stop it. Alright. It's either you kill him, or you die. STV-1 Yeah, I got him Go this way, go this way Okay, okay, okay So far, so good, so far, so good Is that guy running in the corner? No, I don't think so I'm coming this way, and, uh, something is coming this way. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Dang. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. And finally, I unlocked the Lopez. Or Lepez. Or the M4A1. M4A1? No. M41. <laughs> I'm thinking of the dang Abrams tank. 
Oh, come on. Like, there you go. Yeah, we don't really need to use the get alpha, actually. Everyone's battling at Charlie. Okay, can't get up that hill. Alright, let's go. Come on. Uh, okay. Let's try to get Bravo. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bush. Bye, Mr. Bush. <laughs> mm. Ooh, is that someone there? Yes, it is. Ah, they hit my cannon bridge. That sucks. Let's go here. Well, now I have to wait half a minute. Oh yeah, also instead of planes in this mode, instead you get helicopters. <laughs> Which is amazing. Also when I first saw the name of this thing, or not this thing, but um, the leopard, I kept on calling it the Leopold or something like that. I don't know why. <laughs> it's not not even close to Leopold. Yeah, that's uh correct. Yeah, that's way too far. Ow, ow. Alright, to the objective. Literally I'm going to die. But I don't care. <laughs> Also, the the more modern that you get, the tanks cost less. If I make well, cost less to repair, I should say. <laughs> um. So like, you know how? Basically, remember that the Tiger Two, like Red Level Repair, cost was like eight thousand, like four thousand or something like that. Yeah, these ones are like 2,000. 3,000. Let's turn... There you go. Alright, so this is originally built as a tank destroyer. Well, I can't say this actual tank, but in the game it's a tank destroyer. But it has a flak 88, which, if you know anything about World War II, is a flak gun. Also, to its name, it has flak in it. So I use, so I replaced it uh, with the Wearable Wind. And so now we have this. Although the slower reload, it does a whole bunch more damage. And it's way more accurate. Um, let's see. <laughs> I just heard a helicopter is just going on its way. <laughs> and, oh wait, there's so many helicopters. Turn, 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 turn. Let me help up there. Dang. Reload, reload, reload. No hit. That off. Oh. Reload. No, no hit. But he's dead. Just go into the helicopter to show you guys. 
we're only gonna have to we're only gonna be able to do one battle today. Hey, there we go. Alright, we have seven hundred and fifty rockets. Um This is gonna be a whole bunch. Well, hey, I hit him a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Also, the reason why I chose this instead of the um, Orbital Wind is because, well, first of all, it costs way less. For the Oz Wind, it's what? 2000? I think for this one, it's like 700 or something like that. Hello, sir. Alright. And it can't really do much to modern tanks. Unless the modern tanks are like backwards and maybe it'll just, you know, hit the radiator. And that's about it. Ow. Well. We got destroyed. <laughs> yeah, also the bad thing about this, and then the Warble Wind. I, I keep on thinking to go back and forth and back and forth. Uh. It's like the repair cost because some more. Sorry guys, the more that you uh, use a tank, I think it costs more. So, also, yeah, also this thing is, what, 2.7? So, this is a very, very beginner's tank. Um, which means that its walls are paper thin. And that means the hull can get destroyed very easily, unless by modern tanks and modern, you know, helicopters. Modern helicopter can do that to a mod or to a modern tank. Then I can't imagine what one missile to the chassis of this thing will explode the entire thing and probably cut it in half. And but War Thunder doesn't have destructibility like that, sadly. Got all these modern tanks that look awesome. Besides it. Okay, there we go. Now this is no I didn't want to go back. Yeah, this is the Rocky um Jazz um Yak um PZ two. Or Rock J P Z two hot. Uh, no, this is a German tank destroyer, <laughs> as you may have thought, because of the name. Ow. Yeah, instead of having giant guns, now they just have rockets. Also, I think this is a modern anti-tank, or anti-aircraft. Oh, there's a the helicopter. Um... There's an XM1GM. I don't know what that's from. Uh, M48A2, which I think is, you know, American. I think this is American too. M48A2. It's the same make. Um, uh, it's Russian because it's a T, T72, uh, T95. Ooh, another, um, anti-air. I think I might just, um, <laughs> switch back to the, uh, Warble one. Only because one might cost more. Uh, but it, but it puts out more rounds. And I think it would, yeah, it can withstand more hits. Oh, we might win this mission. I see. This guy has a rocket, I think. I think this is a rocket. No, that's not a rocket. I think that's just an attachment to the tank. Nope. Oh, we're back to this guy. Here's a helicopter. Helicopters are like... 
like really, really fragile glass cannons. Oh no. We need to capture another objective, because if we... No. Pull up, dude, pull up. Ow. Oh, here's another one of the same make it thing. Oh, he got a guy with the rockets. He's gonna get yeah, I got another one. Mission is over, we won. Victory in the Tunisia mission. Hey, we gained money from that, nice. Six thousand, about six thousand, yay. All right, we made some decent progress. All right, so let's uh, see. So this guy is a four point three, which is actually better than I thought. Um, it's a one thousand four hundred ninety-two. Okay, so the since I'm using a more it went up. And the warble wind is yeah, almost three thousand. So it's almost double. But we get, I think we get more ping. No, we don't. We barely get any. More, more stuff. I'm gonna switch it out. Yeah, let's use this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go, the world is back in our stuff. Yeah. Now, once we complete the research for the mouse, um, this big beefy boy, I think we're gonna. Since we're not using the GU87 in battle, I think this guy will go next, or will go here. Since so I think I'm thinking heavy tanks if there is any in the upper stages medium tanks um, Two tank destroyers anti-air and light tanks So Yeah Anyways guys, uh, I'm gonna end this episode here with it's been a bit long. I think it's long. Yeah, it's like four minutes longer. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic day.